Well, hello and welcome to today's episode. My name is Tom Rowley for System.io.dev. We have come to the final episode in a 15 episode series. Can you believe that? The last 14 episodes before this, we have been on a journey. And that journey began recognizing that there is a trap that comes for successful entrepreneurs. And that is that what worked to get to one to three million in revenue, five to seven people in team, where you can manage your people and have success suddenly breaks down. And from there, if you don't get your processes on point, you don't get your systems on point, you will have a very difficult time in business. This is marked by plateauing, growth. This is a difficult and stressful experience, particularly if you are going through ongoing success and you bring on more and more people into a chaotic environment, this becomes very, very unpleasant and difficult to cope with. We actually looked at the four specific areas of this. Number one, basically that you are the source of how to do everything. You become not only the leader to say, hey, we're going there, but you also have to tell everybody how to do everything and troubleshoot everything that goes wrong. This means that your business is hopelessly dependent on you. You also feel like there's never ending work. And so this can lead to a cycle of hiring and hiring because there's always more work. You're just not efficient enough anymore. And so the trap is bringing more people on when you actually have a systems problem. Beyond that, you have a quality control problem as well. Because nothing is document, this documented, this means that people in your team have to do things the best that they can remember or the best that they've been trained for, but they suffer from Chinese whispers and things start to go a little off. And that shows up in the end product that gets delivered to the customer. This means you have to check everything to make sure it's okay and send back that which didn't make it to a high enough quality. Finally, you don't know what gets done every week. You actually can't go back and look at what got what got done. What work did your team do? You are paying the bills, you're paying the payroll. And this can be very disheartening indeed if you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm paying all this money, all these people showed up, but what got done? Does, can anyone tell me what got done? And there's no documented record of this. This is a very difficult place to find yourself. This can feel like a trap that is is hard to escape from. Like even to recognize these problems takes effort and time that you probably don't have, let alone the solution. But let's open up not to the solution, but rather the possibility that waits for you if you did have that solution. And that would be that you knew what work needed to be done in your business, like actually had a list of the systems that run your business. The cool thing is about business, a lot of systems are required by all businesses. Yes, there'll be your specific requirements and variants depending on what software or what tools or what work, but essentially all businesses have to go through marketing and sales and advertising and fulfillment and they have to do their accounting and their taxes and their cash flow management. All businesses need to do this. So those systems are going to be very similar. But imagine that you just had them defined. They were they were known. You knew how much work there actually was because your systems were documented. You also knew who was going to do that work. It was like, okay, yep, yeah, that system takes three departments to work on, or that system can be managed by one person. You know who's responsible for doing the work. Next up, you know when it is done. Like when does the repeating work of your business get done? Some work will be daily, some work will be weekly, some will be every two weeks, every month, every quarter, every year. There will be systems that have to be executed on these recurring basis. And that if you had that dialed in 
And particularly if you knew how long these systems took, then you can put it in someone's calendar. And that calendar entry does not just say, hey, do this work. It actually leads to the system. Here's the documented system that you can use to get this work done. Lastly, you know how. It is documented about how to do the work. It's written down. And particularly if you set it up in a good way, then your instructions will be used every time by your team. This will be routine. It will be right there. It'll be like playing Lego. And you might say, Tom, Lego, mate, that's a kid's game, is it? I tell you what, Lego, because you have the instructions right next to the pieces, that four-year-olds, nine-year-olds, 15-year-olds can put together the entire model successfully, piece by piece by piece by piece. Yes, it's a little repetitive and yes, it's boring, but at the end of the day, this significantly increases the efficiency and effectiveness of your business. So let's review. We started off with a business in chaos that has had problems arise because of its very success and the dream of being able to sell or be able to leave and go on holidays or move on to your next entrepreneurial idea remains a distant vision, a dif different, distant hope. But just to let you know that that possibility does exist, that you can have a business that is designed to work with you and designed to work without you. This is a fully documented, systemized business. And then over the next four episodes, we looked at the key steps to do that. Number one, get organized, that you are going to need an organizational way of running your business that all of your team follow, that everybody knows where everything lives so that you can work as a team beyond seven people, that you can have 40 people in your team and everybody knows where everything lives, how everything's named. And this means that many people can work together successfully because things are organized. Next up, we looked at the idea of copy to use, that your system should be set up as templates and that when they need to be used, they get copied. This has advantages. This means you can run two, three, four, seven copies of one system at once if you need to do that. Secondly, any changes and improvements that are made to that system then carry all the way through for all future iterations of that system. Speaking of improvements, we looked at step number three, that you improve as you go. Because your team uses the instructions, uses the processes every time, they can improve them. They can get better. They can cope with change. This means that you don't have to have perfect documentation from the beginning. You don't have to spend six months trying to document everything. Rather, you build it as you go, improve as you go, as they get used, the systems get better. And finally, we looked at tracking your progress, that if you have a way of tracking what's going on, what your team is doing, then you can see what got done this week. Your team can see what they're working on in case they get distracted, they can come back and within 20, 30 seconds, they're working again. And finally, you get to have your team be able to see what the rest of the team is working on. They can see what's backlogged, they can see what's held up, this is very potent. This gives you the ability to redistribute your team, to cope with changes when people are sick or away or get headhunted, that there is a knowledge base in your business that is an asset that is worth money to you if you choose to hold your business and it is worth significant amounts on the market if you chose to sell your business. All right, so that is where we've been. That is the journey. So what I want you to do, if you have not been through this journey, go back and watch these episodes as we do a deep dive, as I've dug into each of these in detail. Once you've been through that, or if you just know that you need this, like you're suffering right now and you've looked and you're like, man, I wish somebody had some kind of solution to this, then I want to know that lets you know that there is a program for that. It is called Scale the Summit. 
scale the summit. You have got to base camp. Let's go to Everest. You've got to base camp. But to get to the pinnacle, there's a whole different game that's required. So scale the summit looks at four particular things. One, system structure. How are you going to organize this thing? Two, the magic board. The magic board, the way of setting up your systems that makes them work. This thing is phenomenal. This thing is amazing. Suddenly your business becomes systemized when you use the magic board. Next up, you get natural optics because people are using the system. Suddenly you can see. So you get natural optics and finally the Holy Grail. What's the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail is the system to create systems. The system to create systems. This is powerful. This means that should you read a book or take a workshop and you wish to implement that, it does not die on your bookshelf, but rather you can take it and turn it into a system. And what you may find is when you do that, you actually can make improvements and you get an even better system because these things, these systems, when they are alive, they grow and they improve and they optimize and they thrive. When you look at systems as something that gets done and it's finished, that is a dead system and it will die. It is a screenshot in time. And there is a vast difference between a business with a dead set of systems and one with a living set. If this is something that you know you need to get on point with, then what I want you to do is go to systemio.dev put in your name and your email to enter into the training there and click the button at the bottom of that. It will take you through to a booking calendar where we can meet, have a look at the specific problems that you are facing. And if we're a match, then we can talk about working together. All right. That's all I got for you today. I hope you got a lot out of this overview, this summary, this review of where we have been. If you have not been through the episodes, my invitation is to go back and watch those. Once you get back here and you know that this is your next move in business, then what I want you to do, head to systemio.dev, enter your name and email, go through to the booking calendar, book your time, and we will meet to discuss your specific circumstances. All right, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. I'll see you soon.